Georgia is one of the oldest wine regions in the world. The fertile valleys and protective slopes of the Transcaucasia were home to grape wine cultivation and Neolithic wine production for at least so many millenniums. Due to the many millennia of wine in Georgian history and its prominent economic value, the traditions of wine are considered entwined with and inseparable from the national identity. Among the best known Georgian wine regions are Kakheti, further divided into micro regions of Telavi and Kaurali. UNESCO added the ancient traditional Georgian winemaking method using the quarry clay jars to the UNESCO intangible cultural heritage list. As part of our Georgian journey, we also had an opportunity to visit one of the prominent wineries in Georgia named JSC Corporation. To make new style wine, like classical European style wine, in every tank we control temperature, otherwise wine will be spoiled, yes it will be vinegar. Mm -hmm. and then now there we make dry white and dry red wine, but in summer when it's getting warmer, yes, the wines will be transported in a cool and dark area. Because in summer it's too hot or so here, 38, 45 degrees we mm -hmm. have, and wine will be spoiled. Let's go now, I will, I'll show you place where we receive grape and crash. Second machine, when you want to make wines in the tanks which you have outside, first machine we use because inside grapes, tanks and crops are separated from each other. Okay. Only crops are crashed and only grapes we choose we use, yeah? Okay. But if you want to make Georgian traditional wine, second machine we use because everything is crashed together and for Georgian wine making we use grape skin, seeds, tanks, everything. grapes, we use everything together. In the last this is the place where they make semi-sweet semi-dry wines each tank is 20,000 liters 20,000 20,000 liters temperature there is minus 4 degrees and by like this temperature we store fermentation processing semi-sweet wine and we keep real sweetness of the wine this yellow is foam, sterile foam which keeps temperature in each tank okay. inside this stainless steel tank, outside it's foam So this is the place where the vintage wines are stored. We have all wines. These small barrels are French oak barrels where, where wine it is aging during the two years. Two and years. And just three years. I have Georgian oak barrels where 7,000 liters of brandy is aging inside. We have brandy which is 23 years old, 21 years old, 17 years old. Then the other things we use walls. They are very special wine. The oldest wine, we have 27 years old wine. That's the oldest one? Yes, oldest wine. It is white dry wine, which we made in quarry, in clay pot. Also, in the laboratory, every wine has certificate that they are very special wines. And we sell also that wines. Price of one bottle starts from 80 lari to 600 lari. Mm -hmm. and so everything is flow with wine. 5,000 liters we produce. 5,000 liters? Down? Yes. So yeah. how deep it is? 2 meters. 2 meters. So this is the wine yeah. cellar. Yeah. Okay, let's go, but be careful again. Okay. In there, as I told you, this building and this clay pot here we have since 1924 years. Every year we make wine inside. And um, it is such a heavy. No one uses anymore because everyone has electric machines. Yeah? Let's go. I'll show you different places and uh, this is where they crushed the grapes to juice to make the wine in the olden days keep everything we put down and regularly we stir inside during two weeks per day six times when six times six times per day well for one day and um, when fermentation total will be finished in three weeks yeah this quarry will be full of with wine it will be hermited closed after six months we take wine and this wine will be very clear, very transparent. Very if, transparent. 
Yeah. Winemaker wants also this wine will be aged in oak barrel and grape skin and seeds, rest of grape will be collected, it will be distillated for making chacha. Okay, so yeah. the grape skin which is used for the wine will be uh, recycled for chacha. Yes. which you see now. Oh, wow. These cultures tell us about our cultural winemaking, about wine drinking. Look around, take some pictures. Yeah. It is place. What is this called? What? This one. Satsnaheli. Satsnaheli in English means pressing place. Pressing place, where, where the grapes are pressed with the food. Yes, nowadays okay. just for visitors we use this All right. one. You don't use it anymore. Wine laboratory. In the first machine, butters are sterilized, wines are bottled and corked, corked to buy in Portugal. Uh, in the second machine, butters are cleaned outside. In the last machine, the butters are labeled. For every country, we use different designs of labels with different languages. Let's Bread is called puri and is traditionally baked in a deep circular clay oven called a tone. Traditional bread, especially the long pointed bread called shortish puri, is very popular and usually is served with every meal in Georgia. Most streets in Georgia have at least one traditional bakery. Traditionally, tones are made of clay and burn wood. The interior is lined with fireproof bricks. The outside is made of a mixture of a special cord sand which is used in making glass and a fireproof clay called chamuti. This mixture is spread on the outside of the tone and wrapped in linen. When it dries, it fuses into a hard fireproof surface. This tone will last for 7 to 8 years before it will need to be replaced. And I think Traditional bread tastes really great. <laughs> 